Hello, hello, hello. Solutions to the glass boat problem. In lecture 22 of 803, and I really think you should watch that lecture, I derive the radius of a glass boat, but there I use an index of refraction 1.5. And there is a reason why I chose 1.4 for the problem that I didn't want you to just blindly copy the results of lecture 22 of 803. So you will have to really think it through for yourself. So there's no need for me to go over the derivation. Any Rainbow lecture, if I did that as thoroughly as 803, would be fine. But the 803 lecture is as complete as you can have it. And so the answer is that the radius of the glass bow is 33.25 degrees. And of course the red will be at the outside the primary bow and the blue on the inside because the index of refraction of blue light is always a little larger than that of red light and therefore its radius is a little smaller. So I have nothing to add. In that lecture 22 I create in the lecture hall a glass bow. We use small glass beads and all students in class were able to see this glass bowl. Okay then, what is interesting is that I saw for the first time in my life a glass bowl just by accident when I visited with my son a museum at Lincoln in Massachusetts. I saw it on the street. And at first I was puzzled how that could happen. I realized immediately that it had to be glass beads or maybe plastic beads, solid beads, because there couldn't be any rain with <laughs> spherical drops on the on the road. So it had to be something like glass or plastic, spherical, transparent. And I then learned later that that's used for sanding. And so that explained it. That's all part of my lecture 22 of 803. So it's a long lecture. Feel free not to watch it. Feel free not to solve this problem. That's up to you. Whether you solve them or not, we'll still be friends. But since I teach physics, I'd like you to watch lecture 22 of 803. And you will then confirm that the radius of a glass bow whose index of refraction is 1.4, that that radius, we've chosen 1.4 as the average value between red and blue, that that radius is then very close to 33.25 degrees. Many of my viewers told me at the time that they have also seen on the road the glass bowls, the same for the same reason, of course, the sending used these small glass beads. So it's not so unique, but it is rare, <laughs> and I've only seen it once. Have a nice day, take care, and yes, 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 we're always friends, whether you do my problems or not makes no difference. But never forget, my objective is 
to teach you physics. In summary, the higher the index of refraction of a spherical transparent bead or drop, the smaller is the radius of the bow. You follow some numbers once more. If the index of refraction is 1.5, as I derive in my lecture 22 of 803, then the radius of the glass bow is 22.8 degrees. However, if the index of refraction is 1.4, then the radius is a little larger, it's about 33.2 degrees. And if we take red light, in the case of a real rainbow with water, and we take an index of refraction of 1.33, then the radius of that rainbow, of the red part of the rainbow, which is the outside of the primary bow, is a little more than 42 degrees. Okay? So now you may get some feeling for the effect of the index of refraction.